welcome dear friends to my video lecture on net education unit 10 here in this video lecture we are going to see three things namely rehabilitation council of india act 1992 and its role in inclusive education that is ssa uh, sorry rci rci act 1992 then uh, ssa sarva shiksha inclusive education under sarva shiksha the third topic we are going to cover is the united nations conventions on the rights of persons with disabilities UNCR PD United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities that is the expansion let us try to be added to the topic the first one <coughs> or CI Act 1992 and its role in inclusive education that is a Rehabilitation Council of India Act the RCI Act 1992 is an important law in India that supports inclusive education for individuals with disabilities. It focuses on training and regulating professionals in rehabilitation to ensure equal education opportunities. The Rehabilitation Council of India or CI was set up under the under this act to develop and manage rehabilitation programs. It ensures high quality training for teachers and professionals working with the disabled students. A key goal of the act is inclusive education which allows children with disabilities to study alongside their friends, peers in regular classrooms with the proper support. It aims to give every child access to quality education and full participation in society. This act, this RCA act requires schools to offer special facilities like physical adaptations, teaching aids and modified curricula. It emphasizes creating a supportive and barrier-free learning environment, both physically as well as uh, you know academically. The RCI oversees a special and educated training, ensuring teachers are skilled to support students with the different needs. It accredits institutions offering such training and maintains high standards. The National Register of Professionals is mandated by the Act. It's a very important point. The Na National Register of Professionals is mandated by the Act to ensure qualified individuals work with the disabled students. Only registered professionals are recognized for this work. The Act encourages research in special education to develop better teaching methods and tools. Research helps identify effective strategies for inclusive education. It aligns with the global commitments like the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, supporting inclusion and non-discrimination in education. The Act highlights the importance of awareness and advocacy to promote the rights of persons with disabilities and fight the stereotypes fostering an inclusive society. Since, since its implementation, the RCA Act Rehabilitation Council of India Act has improved access to education for disabled children and established a framework for their support in and beyond schools. What could be the conclusion for this topic? The RCA Act is a landmark law for inclusive education in India by regulating training, setting standards, and promoting inclusion, it ensures all children, regardless of disabilities, have access to equal educational opportunities. What are the important questions here? When was the RCA Act enacted? Uh, answer will be 1992. RCA Act was enacted in 1992. What is the main focus of the RCA Act? Regulating and standardizing the training of rehabilitation professionals. So the main focus of the RCA Act is to regulate and standardize the training of rehabilitation uh, professionals. In other words, uh, the professionals who are working with disabled people. What does ed inclusive education aim to do? It educates children with disabilities alongside peers in general classroom. This is what inclusive education aims to do. 
it wants to educate children with the disabilities alongside peers in general classrooms who benefits from the rca act rca through rca, RCA act persons person with disabilities, disabilities benefit, benefit a lot what is the key responsibility of the rca that is overseeing training of special education professionals those who are working with the disabled children what does the rca act ensure for disabled students special provisions and facilities in schools who accredits special education training institutions of course the rag the, the rehabilitation council of india <coughs> or the rci rci uh, you know that supervise or accredits special education training in uh, training institutions what is the rci act to encourage the development of it wants to develop research in special education how does the rci act to support global inclusion it aligns it can it gets connected with the universal body namely the global body or international body uncr pd what is the role of the national register maintaining a record of registered special education professionals what is the primary aim of inclusive education it is nothing but equal educational opportunities for all including disabled students who benefits from the act special, special provisions students with the disabilities what do rca training program focus on it uh, focuses the rca training program focus on training professionals in special education how does the act contribute to research it encourages creation of new teaching strategies and tools what does the rca act to help eliminate what does it want to eliminate that is misconceptions and stereotypes about disabilities so those who are disabled children should be with the uh, normal children that is the idea is so there are a lot of misconceptions that should be removed according to rci uh, act 1992 in india now we are going for the second Uh, topic named is Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan. Yes, yes, yeah. Uh, what about the SSA? Uh, uh, I mean, what is the uh, introductory remarks on the SSA? The SSA is a program by the Indian government to make quality education accessible to all children, particularly those from disadvantaged groups. It began in 2000 to provide free and compulsory education to children aged 6 to 14. <clears throat> what are the focus areas of ssa improving education quality reducing dropouts ensuring no child is left behind so these are the focus areas of ssa ssa sarva shiksha abhiyan <clears throat> that is improving education quality reducing dropouts ensuring no child is left behind now uh, you know uh, ssa focuses on including children with disabilities marginalized groups and economically disadvantaged children it promotes an environment of acceptance and respect in schools accepting all the children respecting them in the normal schools along with the normal students that is the idea uh, what is the support for children with disabilities ssa provides what type of support it gives to children with disabilities ssa provides special education services resource rooms for personalized support teacher training for inclusive teaching then accessible schools you know accessible schools means the schools are made barrier free with the ramps yeah with the ramps and the toilets for disabled students special materials like braille books and hearing aids are provided what about the community involvement how does it talk about uh, community involvement yes i say parents communities and local governments are encouraged to participate in school management committees to ensure the needs of all children are met <coughs> then Uh, how teachers are sensitized through this program teachers are trained to handle diverse classrooms <coughs> and use inclusive methods like cooperative learning how does it support girls education 
SSA provides scholarships, incentives, and separate toils to encourage girls' education as they are often disadvantaged. And also, it, it wants to conduct awareness campaigns. SSA runs campaigns to reduce the stigma about uh, disabilities and promote inclusion, in other words, prejudice you know, of these people, of this particular type of uh, particular, uh, you know, uh, uh, in a student category, a disab a student with a disabilities. So SSA runs a campaign to reduce stigma, prejudice about the disabilities and promote inclusion. What are the challenges uh, this SSA foresee? Shortage of trained and special education teachers, limited infrastructure, especially in rural areas. What are the achievements of SSA? More children from disadvantaged backgrounds attend schools. Inclusive education promotes empathy and mutual respect among students. Now some important questions you can ask. What is the main goal of SSA? That is a free education for all children aged 6 to 14. SSA ensures free compulsory education for children in this age group. Who benefits from inclusive education under SSA? That is children with disabilities and disadvantaged groups. SSA focuses on children with disabilities and and from marginalized communities. Uh, what are resources rooms? Resource rooms, sorry. What are resource rooms in uh, SSA? Sarvashiksha uh, Abhyan. That is uh, support rooms for disabled children. Resource rooms provide extra help to children with special needs. What accessibility feature is mandatory in SSA schools? That is barrier-free buildings with the ramps and toilets. SSA ensures schools are accessible for children with disabilities. How does SSA involve parents in schools? That is a school management committees. Through management, uh, through school management committees, uh, parents you know, are addressed about the children's educational needs. Committees include parents to address children's educational needs. Uh, what training do teachers receive? That is handling diverse classroom. How to handle different types of different uh, I mean classrooms with different types of uh, students. Uh, I mean normal children, uh, disabled children, mentally retarded children, all the diverse classrooms. Teachers learn inclusive methods for various stu varied student needs. What is the challenge faced by SSA? That is shortage of trained teachers. SSA lacks enough teachers trained in special education. In other words, there are no uh, enough adequate number of trained teachers for SSA. How does SSA support girls? Through scholarships and separate toilets. SSA helps girls to stay in school with these provisions. What is the purpose of inclusive education? To educate all children together. That is the purpose of inclusive education. I think we already see that. Inclusion means teaching all children in the same environment. What materials are given to disabled children under SSA? Brain books and hearing aids. These tools help children with their disabilities learn effectively. How does SSA reduce stigma that prejudice through awareness campaigns? Campaigns promote inclusion and reduce bias. Uh, what is SSA's focus besides access to education? Uh, besides access to education, it wants to reduce the dropouts, reduce the dropouts. SSA works to ensure children stay in school, they don't drop out. That is the idea. Yeah? Now, what value does inclusive education teach all students? Empathy and respect. What value does inclusive education teach all students? Empathy and respect. Inclusion help children learn acceptance and respect. What does SSA do for children at risk for dropping out or dropping out? <coughs> that is, additional support it gives in order to retain them in the school. I mean, they should not be dropped out. For that, SSA wants to support them. Uh, in other words, it gives more support to the such children. So, additional support. SSA supports children who might leave school early. What is SSA's role for marginalized communities? That is full integration into education. SSA ensures these children join the mainstream education systems. Now, we are going for the third topic, namely the United Nations Convention 
on the rights of persons with disabilities UNCR PD that is United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities <coughs> what is the meaning of this or what is the idea of this UNCR PD that is <coughs> the UNCR PD that is United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities is an international treaty ensuring the rights and dignity of persons with disabilities. Adopted in 2006, it promotes equality and inclusion worldwide. What are the principles? It emphasizes the right to live freely, participate fully in society, and be treated with respect. Key areas include education, employment, health, and access to justice. The aim is to remove barriers both physical and social that hinder participation. So once again, I repeat, what are the principles of this United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, that is UNCRPD, that is, it emphasizes the right to live freely, participate fully in society, and be treated with respect. What are the key areas uh, include here, are included here? Key areas include education, employment, health, and access to justice. The aim is to remove barriers, both physical and social, that hinder participation. And also, it talks about accessibility. The UNCRPD stresses accessibility in environments, transportation, and communication. They should be able to reach the schools like any other normal child. So, the provisions or the support should be given. That is what it is. For instance, public spaces should be uh, wheelchair accessible and information should be available in formats like Braille or sign language. Then inclusion, integration into society is a major focus. In education, the treaty supports inclusive systems where all students, regardless of ability, learn together. Then it talks about independent living also. The treaty emphasizes access to support services, allowing persons with disabilities to live independently, make their own decisions, and engage in community life. Then legal capacity, everything should be done legally. It ensures that persons with disabilities have equal rights to make decisions about their lives and opposes practices like forced treatment or legal discrimination. And also it talks about health care. The UNCRPD calls for inclusive health care systems addressing barriers to medical services for persons with disabilities. With regard to employment, uh, employment, it talks about promoting equal job opportunities and non-discrimination in the workplace for persons with disabilities. They should be having equal rights, equal facilities, everything. Else. That is what it talks about with regard to uh, job opportunities and uh, I mean with regard to employment. Cultural participation. The treaty advocates for equal participation in cultural, recreational, and sports activities. Then, what are the national implications of this, uh, you know, this international body? By ratifying the treaty, countries coming to removing barriers, enacting supportive laws, and ensuring inclusion in all aspects of life. Governments must also monitor progress and report to the international community. So what is the impact of this UNC, UNCRPD? That is, uh, the UNCRPD has inspired legal reforms worldwide, leading to improved accessibility, anti-discrimination laws, and inclusive education. However, challenges like lack of awareness and resources still persist. Now, let us ask some questions. A very important question is related to this topic. What is the UNCRPD's main goal? That is ensuring their rights uh, and dignity. Their rights and dignity. The UNCRPD ensures rights and promotes equality <coughs> for persons with disabilities. When was the UNCRPD adopted? That is 2006. The treaty was adopted in 2006. What is the key feature of UNCRPD? 
there is accessibility in public spaces. There is, like any other normal child, these children with disability should be able to go and participate in public events. That is the idea. Accessibility in public spaces. The treaty ensures accessible environments for everyone. What does UNCRPD promote in education? Of course, they promote inclusive education. All the children should be equally treated, even the children with disabled uh, conditions. It supports integration into regular schools. What does the UNCRPD say about living independently? That is, uh, access to support services. Support services can person with disabilities live independently. What, what, does, uh, what, what right does the UNCRPD emphasize regarding legal capacity? Equal legal rights like any other normal child or normal people. Persons with disabilities can make their own decisions. What does the UNCRPD say about health care? You know, it talks about inclusive and accessible health care like any other normal human being. Inclusive and accessible health care for all children. It ensures all persons can access health care. What is the employment goal of UNCRPD? Employment goal, that is equal job opportunities they promote. Uh, Non-discrimination in the workplace is a key principle of UNCRPD. What does the UNCRPD say about cultural participation? That is equal opportunities in all areas. Inclusion in cultural life is emphasized. What must countries do under the UNCRPD? That is, adopt inclusive laws. Government must remove barriers and ensure inclusion. Thank you very much, dear friends. God bless you abundantly. Uh, I hope, you know, this will be interesting because instead of taking one uh, heading and uh, one topic as such and treating so elaborately, sometimes it may not be needed. The most essential ideas I can give like this you know, two or three topics together and along with the most important questions. But other, you know, detailed questions, detailed uh, notes will be given through PDF files. That, that much I am sure. Soon I will be able to do it. God bless you abundantly, dear friends. Let us meet in other video lectures.